All right, we're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> Ran out of space on my phone. Anyway, doing this one Puka style. Um, this is gonna be the first video of the uh, build and all I'm doing is configuring. I'm gonna work on the pump primarily and getting all the fittings hooked up and also uh, making some adjustments to that. So let's get started. All right, so I'm trying to do this one-handed and I'm gonna try and do this kind of quick. But as you can see, here we've got the pump. Here's our inline, here's our outflow. This is the mounting bracket on top right there. Now the pump will be mounted when my rack comes in that I'm putting mounting and putting everything on up underneath the bottom shelf. Now with that, I don't want this head like that. I have a three-way valve that I want to mount on the bottom, have go into the end valve, and then up and out to the kettles. Well, I did a little research and the head can be configured any way. All you got to do is take the screws off and you can turn it any way you want. You just have to line the screw holes up. So I'm going to do that right now and we'll be right back. Okay, nice and simple. Here we've got the, uh, the pump head unit assembly. It's all enclosed, magnetically driven, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about uh, any leaking or anything like that. And then there's the motor down here. Now the plate, the mounting bracket. It's on top here. So I want the flow to come out up. It's got magnets in it, so it just sticks on there. Um, there's little pilot holes where these uh, screws sit into for the rest of the assembly on the back side, and they just fall right into place. There we go. Here will come in, wort, water, everything will come in through the bottom, go through the pump, and then out and up to the kettles, up to the top of the pump. So I'm going to get the screws put in and we'll be back uh, putting the fittings on. So uh, so as you saw I got the uh, pipe head rotated and everything so that or the pipe the pump head rotated so that's all set. Um, I'm just gonna start uh, putting some fittings and stuff together. I'm gonna cut my holes it may seem crazy because I don't have all the parts so I don't know the exact measurements but I have more than enough silicone tubing not only that but the ship's fairly cheap. So I'm going to get that cut up, I'm going to get all the fittings set up, and uh, I'll show you a couple pictures of those here in just a second. Uh, I'd film it all, but trying to do it with one hand, and then uh, now that I'm running out of memory. But I'm going to pipe dope up all the threads, um, that way nothing leaks, and uh, go ahead and take a look at these pictures. Cheers, and I hope everyone's having a good day. So it's been kind of a long, hectic day. I'm going to knock this out real quick um, and get it posted for you guys. Uh, anyway, we got all the plumbing hooked up. Uh, for the most part, it's uh, planned out. So this line over here, all right, hold on, everything's all hooked together. This line right here will go into the boil kettle, through that ball, ball valve, up through the pump, and when turned the right way, which right now it's not, we'll go in through the pump, up out this line, which has a 3 8 inch, comes to an end here with a 3 8 inch compression, compression fitting. We'll go into my current wort chiller through the coil, which will be in the boil kettle slash HLT, will then come out this out of the coil into here. I got another fitting sitting over there on the table. I didn't thread it on there yet. Through that line. And then this will be mounted in the top of the mash tun with a lock line assembly inside for my sparge arm. And then uh, as far as uh, recirculating goes, this one will be, this line right here will have be mounted to the uh, bottom of the HLT. Got to get a false bottom to come in yet. Then we'll go through there. And when we go to recirculate, we'll just flip this valve like so. And we'll go through the pump and then, you know, through the coil and back in. And then uh, when we go to sparge, we'll flip that back, obviously, like we just kind of showed you. And uh, these are all got quick disconnects. So the plan. 
have to adjust that. The plan will be, when I'm sparging, to unhook this, have that running down into a bucket nice and slow, controlled by that ball valve into a uh, into a food grade bucket, and then we'll recirculate out of the HLT here through the coil and the sparge arm. That'll help clear out, clean the hoses out, and get all the uh, wort out, as well as uh, sparge. So uh, that's what we got so far. I hope you were able to follow <laughs> on that, and uh, it'll be easier once we uh, once I get the kettle and everything set up and actually show it in operation. So, cheers, and uh, that's what we got.